Hi guys, my name is Tim Parker and I'm going to be doing a review on knockaround sunglasses and the different styles that they offer. So first I want to start off by saying uh, I am not sponsored by knockaround. Um, they do not support me in any way, um, but I do want to give my honest opinion on these sunglasses and this company and tell you a little bit of why I'm doing that. So, I am very attached to my sunglasses. Um, I have a pair of new Wayfarer Ray-Bans, and I absolutely love them. Ever since I bought them, they have been either in my car, in their case, on my nightstand. I take them everywhere because, for some reason, I am very sensitive to light. Um, I am having a hard time looking at the screen right now, and it is, I'm under shade right now, so it, it shouldn't even be affecting me, but it is, um, because it's kind of sunny. Um, but I love these sunglasses, and I was going to be getting a brand new pair, because these kind of, over the last three years, have picked up some scratches and dings and stuff. And so I was going to get a new pair, but the price tag is about $203, which is, um, you know, pretty pricey. But you say, yeah, but that's what you get for quality. And uh, I used to agree. But then I found this company that sold a very similar looking pair called the Fort Knox. So Knockaround sells a pair of sunglasses that are called the Fort Knox. The Fort Knox, the Mai Tais, the Premiums, and the Fast Lanes are all able to be customized to your heart's content, include, including polarization, lens type, the front um, area that holds the lens, and the side arms. Um, so I am really boring, and I went and got black on black on black so that they would match my Ray-Bans as much as possible. If you look... They're very, very similar. Um, the Fort Knox are, uh, they have a, like a brick looking little thing here, and they have a thing that says knock around right there. Ray-Bans has the Ray-Ban, and they have the Ray-Ban in, etched into the sunglasses. Um, just for comparison, the clarity is awesome on Ray-Bans. They put a lot of money into Ray-Ban clarity. Um, they're really, really good quality sunglasses. But again, they are $203, so shop wisely. Um, so when I did my reviews, I found uh, that a lot of people like these sunglasses. So I went ahead and got some. They are insanely close. They're a little lighter than Ray-Bans. You can tell they're not the same quality, but the polarization and the lens quality, they are very, very very close and these were maybe 30 bucks um and i was blown away so you know that is an option fort knox very good sunglasses very close to ray-ban new wayfarers then i told my wife about them she said i want to customize a pair so she went and got some pink jelly mai tais so the mai tais are really cool sunglasses also don't look nearly as good on me, although I could rock them. Um, they're really good. They're a little thinner than the Fort Knox, but I think they're more solid, if that makes sense. Um, and they, again, very good clarity, kind of a black tint to them, um, just like my Fort Knox. Next, we have the Park Avenues. These are a pair that my wife saw online, and she really liked them, so... I went and bought them for her. They have a rose tint on the lenses, the clear and pink arm with the white K. Ah, there it is. There's the white K. And these have like a uh, aqua blue tint to them, which is funny since it's rose. Um, but, you know, it, it it says online that the, the tint doesn't match the color of the lens. Um, and it doesn't really matter to me because as long as they look cool and they feel nice and I see clear, I'm good. So those are the park avenues. Next, we have the classics. And out of all the pairs of sunglasses here, um, which all of them I love, uh, 
these are the crappiest, the cheapest feeling. Um, like if I pull this too much, it might snap. So these are like those sunglasses that you take where you're expecting to lose your sunglasses or whatnot. But as soon as I put these on, they feel like $203 sunglasses. They feel amazing and they have a yellow tint which makes everything just seem so much brighter. I think they look insanely cool on me. Um, I don't know what you guys think but go ahead and drop some comments. That was a burp. Uh, some comments uh, and let me know. Uh, again, very very good sunglasses. Um, these were about $15. Then, Knockaround is insanely cool, and they uh, gave me a free pair of Battleship. Not just me, anybody who ordered from their website. I'm not special, I'm not sponsored by Knockaround. But they have like a green frost to them, with a black K. It looks like, like a greenish clear lens, and these have a more natural um, color tone to them. It just makes everything a little darker. Um, but again, I think they look really cool. They're free. You can't beat it. Next, we have my custom fast lanes. And I went and got them, you know, matte black because I'm super original. And then I got the uh, reds because I wanted a different look than my Fort Knox, which were black. So the matte black with the gold K, which you can customize the K. Like, you can customize everything on these sunglasses. It's insane. Um, the only thing that you can't do is, like, two different colored uh, lenses. Um, and I really like these as well. And these have an insane clarity also. They have a yellow tint to them, and it makes everything just seem so much brighter. I'm outside right now, and everything just seems like it's a much better day than it actually is outside. Um, Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you feel like getting yourself a pair of these sunglasses, I would recommend all of them. And that's um, a little interesting. Uh, I would call BS on that if I was watching this video, but I really do. I recommend all of them. Uh, the fast lanes and the premiums, I think, have a much better quality. Um, than the Fort Knox and the Mai Tais, but, and definitely the classics. The classics, again, like I said, those are your, uh, <laughs> your knock-around, knock-around sunglasses. So, I mean, the, the Fort Knox are solid too. It's just, they, they feel like they're gonna break. Um, but anyway, please let me know what you guys think of knock-around sunglasses. Please let you, let me know what you think of the review, and let me know if you want me to do any more reviews on any other pairs of sunglasses that Knock Around does or any other pairs of sunglasses, period. Um, or anything, you know? I really don't care. <laughs> I'm pretty free for the summer. Anyway, thanks guys. Uh, please leave a comment and like this video below.